I'd love to talk Deadwood with you, if you don't mind. And no. Do that. Uh, it, just like your character, Al Swearingen, whenever there was a, a luminary that would come into his saloon, you would open up a can of peaches. So I have with you here, right here on the Rich Eisen Show, I got a can of peaches. I, I ate them all the time. So let's open up a can of peaches and yeah. talk about Absolutely. Deadwood right there, if you don't mind. Do you, would you like some peaches? If it can, no, I'm fine okay, for now, unless you have any double cream to go with. <laughs> no, actually, no, no, it's just a can <laughs> no, of peaches. No, it was, became a thing. It seemed, I mean, that's the genius of Milt. She wrote the show. It became like... I'm sure it was one of those things that they talk. What would they celebrate? They said, well, there's a meeting of the town fathers. What, what have they got? They're all drinking. What are yeah. they going to eat? You can't bring out. Right. can't go now and say, bring a basket from, uh, you know, Gelson's or yeah. whatever. <laughs> you know, now it would be like, well, let's open some, what we got? Cans yeah. of peaches. And, of right. course, they, everybody got diarrhea from them that first day, if you remember. But the yes. Manning, the, that's Milch's genius about the guy who wrote the show, created it. Yes. And the nice thing about, the show, I think, Rich, the fact we were able to come back and do the two-hour movie, was it they waited until they could get us all back. I mean, they could have done maybe a one-off with, with Tim or Tim and me, you know. Right. I always say, you know, it's Al and Seth ride the high country, you know, but that wouldn't, <laughs> but not the same. It's not, wouldn't be different. You slipped show. right into your, your, oh, your right Deadwood into Alan. right there. But, you know, it's like every, because that's what made Deadwood. Deadwood wasn't a show about just these two guys, although they are important, different sides of a coin, whatever, because, you know, Bullock's as crazy as swearing him when he goes, when he goes right. off on one. And that was Tim's great thing. He thought he was, you know, he said, he said, I'm playing. I said, yeah, yeah, the straight guy, this one. Because he was used to playing offbeat kind of, you know, right. lead. But Tim was just terrific. He's the moral core of the story, along with, you know, all the terrific people in it. And that was great that we all came back. It was 13 years later. We're all 13 years older. We'd right. see, some of us had seen each other now and again or kept in company. But it was the same respect, the same Respect for the characters, the story, the show, because it was a fine show, fine uh, show. Uh, you know. uh, remarkable. I mean, yeah, just, it was it, remarkable to work on. I mean, in every respect, I haven't got one like cynical or even negative word to say, even though it came off the air after three years. I mean, that's got nothing to do with you. You can't, that's got something to do with it. Right. whatever, the is big this, week. Is this know. film pick up right after you Yeah, left? no, there's a link. It picks up 10 years later. It's statehood day. In so there's a link. It's state. Yeah, it's become a state. South Dakota. So there's a legitimate reason for Gerald McCrane to come back again because he's now a senator, but he's got business interests. And we hark back to what happened 10 years ago because Trick is going to be Trixie's big day. I won't give that away in mm -hmm. some other way. Uh, and, um, of course, you hark back to the last episode when we took Kit Winham, when I, when I hatched this, when we all hatched this plot mm -hmm. to kill the prostitute in place of... In place of Trixie. And, mm -hmm. of course, this comes apparent in this. It's a good... Ha it's a very clever, I think, cut back to that, a memory, mm -hmm. a memory of collective guilt on their parts. So you never get away from that in Deadwood because terrible things have been done. But at the same time, there's a moral centre. The town has grown. Ten years later, Bull Alma comes back because she's got to take care of her property because she owned the bank. I mean, there's a legitimate EB5. Everybody's Everybody's in it. back. And Phenomenal. Well, that's the gift about Milch because he does... David he, he, wrote, the he gave the everybody runner. the great. He gave yeah. everybody their wedge, as we say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and and it, to me, some of your soliloquies as Al Swearingen, as that character, yeah. would be would go on for minutes at a time. How did you approach a scene like that? How how did you learn the lines in that regard, and what? and and be able to get through a scene like some of these that you were in, Ian? Never even questioned it. I mean, I think in, in nobody did. I mean. We all had them at various points. Billy Sanderson had them as E.B. Farnham. Mm -hmm. He'd have these shakes, you know, suddenly. and Some of the most foul said, iambic oh, pentameter you say. Oh, fantastic to do. I mean, but, you know, any actor that, as I said, doing that show was like being on, you know, David would come up and say, I've just watched the first scene. Because he'd watch a rehearse and then he'd go off and he'd come back and say, I tweaked this. And then sometimes he'd say, I'm sorry, I'm going to come back at lunchtime, give you another few more lines. And people would go, oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because you trusted each other, you were in a place where you're in a, the overused phrase now, a safe place, but you were. Yeah, everybody was there, the writers, the directors, the editors, the costume. The, there was no question that you could do. So it was like being in, well, you are near, your self-contained studio, a self-contained <laughs> group of people, <laughs> yes. and one guy who was smarter than anybody else in the room, who was really leading the show. So you felt, 
Yeah, that's where you did part of the acting. Everybody brought their A game and just got on with it. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.